One of my favorite things is stickers. I love stickers so much. As a kid, I collected them, had the sticker book. As an adult, I realized I can make my own stickers. And that is where the inspiration for the 2019 art challenge came from. Hey everybody and welcome back to Art Alec Card. Today is about my 2019 art challenge. Every year I give myself a challenge. It started off several years ago with creating an individual coloring page every single month and then went a little bit more challenging with creating an artwork that had to do with the gemstone of the month and the flower of the month. That was fun but really challenging. And this year's challenge was to create packs of stickers. These packs were only sold during one month, so they're exclusive to this. I'm super excited to say that by the skin of my teeth, I managed to complete all 12 months. The last month of December might be my absolute favorite one, and it was also the easiest one to put together, but we'll talk about that later. First, let's look at every single month that we have. On a side note, if you have a favorite month, keep track of that. Um, I'll tell you a little bit later on in this video. But starting off with the very first sticker pack, which was my Marshmallow Girl. I actually have a few of these in stock um, that I sell at conventions. They're not up in my shop, but they might be. Mm. My favorite marshmallow is a toss-up between the Burning Angry Marshmallow or the Monocle Marshmallow because monocles. So February, I completely sold out of, so I'm just showing you a picture here. It has several different fairies featured in this sticker pack with a bunch of fun little fairy things like my favorite one which I actually have stuck on my camera so I look at it all the time is my fairy lantern which is made out of flour. Oh I love this one so much. Moving on to March yet another sticker pack that I completely sold out of was my March corgi set because who doesn't like corgis? They're so cute. Now that brings us to the month of March, which is getting to being spring around here. And one thing that really defines at least my backyard is my hummingbirds. They are feisty little spicy creatures. And I had to make a cherry blossom and hummingbird themed pack. From April, we're moving on to May, yet another sticker pack that I completely sold out of, which was my mermaid. In fact, not only did I sell out of the sticker pack, but there is some sort of a goof on my computer and I lost the original file. I have the sticker file so like I can print and cut my stickers on my cutting machine but that's it. From May we move on to June which is another magical creature and for Junicorn I did a unicorn themed pack. Also another one that for some reason glitched in my saving files. I don't think it was my computer. I think it was more me. I think I just didn't save it or when I saved it I accidentally erased it um, because uh, again this one only exists in my sticker file. July sticker sheet was one of my favorite artists which is Bob Ross again one I have completely sold out of. I love Bob Ross so much and I really want to do his sticker pack justice so I don't know what do you guys think is Bob Ross yeah is he does he does he do for a redo? From July we jump into August which I think I have an actual sticker pack for that one. Yes. This one here is my gnomes, which was inspired by a gnome book that I got. I think I talked about it during the creation of the sticker pack here. But as you can see, I have one, two, three, four different gnome ladies here. Oh, pass on this one here. She's hiding from me right there. Moving on to September. Now, you might think this is a weird time to make this set, which is my little trick-or-treater set, but by this time in the year, I was struggling to get things done in time. At the beginning of the year, the sticker pack would drop on the first of the month. By the later part of the year, if it was dropping before the last of the month, I was calling it a success. So I knew if I waited until October to post my October stickers that it would be so close to Halloween that why would anyone want to buy them? So I dropped my Halloween set in September so at least people would have a full month to get their Halloween stickers in time to enjoy for the holiday season. November sticker pack was a montage of different fall things including foxes, leaves, and one of my favorite little birds which is the chickadee. In fact just this sticker alone I love so much. In fact, this guy was the bonus sticker. So here's a fun thing. When you order the sticker pack, I try, at least in the first first 20, 
sticker packs that go out come with a bonus sticker in the back. So I always pick something to be the bonus sticker and this was one of them along with looks like a little leaf right there. So those were ones that you got. So bonus stickers. I love sticker flakes anyway so yeah. That was October. So moving on to November I did the same thing that I did for the Halloween. For November's stickers, I did my Christmas set because I wanted people to have them in time for putting on like Christmas cards or Christmas decorations, calendars or planners and things like this. So November was two of my favorite things. Not all of my favorite Christmas things, but two of them, which is snow globes and gingerbreads. Now finally, my last sticker pack of the month. If you follow me on social media, then you will have probably already seen this. In fact, I have it up on my shop and several of you have already placed your orders, but it is a collection of my artwork, some of my favorite artworks. I at first thought to just do artwork from 2019 and feature that in here, and maybe moving forward, I might do that. But this one, I, I have so many favorites from my past, that I wanted to include them as well. And this one is kind of a in honor of my YouTube channel and the art journey that this chapter in my YouTube channel has had because all of these pieces have been created during my YouTube experience. Some of them I didn't film like this one and this one, but I still, I was YouTubing when I did those because you know sometimes art just happens and you're not there with a camera and it just has to happen. But like this one here, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Those ones here are all YouTube Artist Collective pieces. Um, so all of these have just really good memories for me and the awesome journey that I've been able to have being a YouTuber and creating art here for you guys. So I love these stickers. I already have, I, I've already, I've already have a pack that I broke into and have started sticking on things because <laughs> I love stickers. 12 sticker packs, 12 months. These sticker packs are exclusive. That means they are available for just one month with one exception. I'm going to bring one of these sticker packs back. I'm gonna move one of these sticker packs back into my shop as a permanent member. And I will tell you which one that is going to be. But first I wanna to talk to you guys about my upcoming 2020 art challenges. Doing a full-time art job plus a part-time museum job has left me with like zero time whatsoever for doing things. And I'm nervous about starting a new challenge. So I decided at first that I would give myself a super easy challenge. One that I really enjoyed, one that would be serviceable, and one that would give you guys something every month for free. First, I wanted something that was something I could use, like stickers, but that was a little bit easier than doing stickers because stickers is two two different parts. There's the, the art part, which is challenging enough, and then there is the printing and cutting of stickers, which takes quite a lot of time. I wanted something that was a bit easier for me so that I could just do the art and be done. And the second one I wanted to do was a way to thank you guys. You guys have been so faithful to go on my Etsy shop and purchase the monthly stickers. Um, some of you guys, I have memorized your address because I've written it 12 times. And I'm so thankful for you guys for helping support me in my art shop and buying my stickers, enjoying them, and loving them as much as I love them. But I wanted to offer something for you guys as a thank you gift. So this is what I came up with. Every month I am challenging myself to do a calendar page, a coloring, coloring page because I love to color and I think you guys might like to color as well. I made it the size of a printer paper so that I can print it out on cardstock, hang it up on my wall, color it as I go, um, but it's a calendar on the bottom and a whatever I want to create on the top part. One would think this would be fairly easy, just create a coloring page, but I had so many different ideas and designs and thoughts for January. I went through all different types of things as you guys can see. And at the end, I decided to go with a narwhal because I think they're so beautiful. And it just turned out to be a really fun coloring page. At first, I wanted to theme every piece to be, you know, this is January, so I want something to focus on January and then do something Valentine-y for February, but I'm not going to get that crazy because this is only part one of my art challenge. I have another one that is a little bit more intensive. And I'll be sharing that with you once we get into January. So if you wanna find out what that one is about, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss that video. Or if you want sneak peeks on it, follow me on social media. 
probably will be talking about it over there um, before I even make the video on it. So, but this one, the coloring page, that is the one that I'm definitely going to make myself do every single month. And I'm making it available for you guys for absolutely free. I'm going to be posting this over on my Patreon page. You don't have to support me on Patreon to be able to get it. That's just where I'm going to be hosting the images. So I will leave a link to my Patreon page to jump over there. You can print off January's piece and color it. If you do, I'd love to see it. So make sure to send me a photo or tag me in your social media posts. But now back to the part where one of these guys, these lucky little sticker sheets, gets to come back and be a permanent part of my store collection. And I'm going to let that choice actually be up to you guys. So in the comment section below, if you have a sticker pack that was your favorite and you'd like to see it out for sale again, let me know by the month or description if you can't remember. Let me know in the comment section below and I will take the most popular requested one and bring that back into my store. Anyway guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me in this video, and not just this video, but for hanging out with me for this entire year of 2019. 2020 is looking awesome. I think it's gonna be a fun year, and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So until our next video, God bless you guys, keep being creative, be awesome to one another, and we'll see you in the next art video. Bye-bye.